What's up? Red ranks or grades in Dead by Daylight are considered a significant achievement, but even now only below 5% of player base has actually earned them. It's challenging to obtain these ranks because you have only one month to go 20 tiers from H4 to Iridescent 1, and on the 13th of the following months your progress will be reset. However, if you reach rank 1, you get 1 million blood points at reset, which is quite the reward. So, is it actually hard? I decide to make a challenge and show you that I can beat the world record and reach rank 1 in less than a day. Let's begin. It's the 13th of the month and ranks have reset, so we are starting fresh, but I have a plan on how to do it, and you will laugh and enjoy this process. One of the problems with DBD is the lack of clear objective. You can play for blood points, but to do so you must use your killer power, kick doors, pellets, gens and other stuff. By doing this you might actually overuse your power instead of basic attacks and lose games. Winning is considered when you kill 3 or 4 survivors, while 0 to 1 is a loss and 2 survivors is a draw. Another way is playing for archives. For example, you might have a quest for dropping survivors 20 times in one match, so you just don't hook them and maybe again you lose the game, but win the challenge. Cool? Maybe. But the most frustrating part here is when you play with Booba, kill for survivors with one chainsaw sprint and win the game? But do you win the grade? Because playing for the win and for the grade require different strategies. I need to understand this to break the world record and obtain the fastest iridescent one grade ever. Imagine two pillars. One is MMR, or we will call it ELO, your rating that will try to match your opponents. The higher the pillar, the stronger your opponents. Other pillar is a great system. Higher grades require matching higher elo. In normal sense, yes. But in DBD it's completely unlinked. So to get to red grade, I will need to earn emblems. There are four emblems, each with four tiers. Every tier will give one point and I will need to earn different points based on the current grade. The first emblem is Chaser, which gives points when you win chases and you need to win them fast. The chase starts when we see a survivor and ends when we hit them. So for example, a 50 second chase on basic killer like School Merchant will be considered worse than one second chase with Race because he ends and starts chases when cloaking. Devote earned points for hooks and sacrifices, and this is my favorite, as I will abuse it a lot to break the vault record. However, you don't get points for hook stages or disconnects, and to get iridescence you need at least 9 hooks. So when people try to unhook themselves or disconnect, you will probably end up with a bronze emblem all the time. Gatekeeper earns points by defending gems and additional points for finishing the game before exit gates open. However, what's most important is that I will get points for more gems that stay unfinished every minute, until minute 9. The last emblem is malicious. This one is tricky and you will get high points in this when you finish with kills. This is because you will lose points when injuries healed, so without hooking survivor you can just gain 0 points in this category. Anyway, let's get back to the challenge. When we win, survivors become stronger, they will make gens faster, heal more efficient, escape chases more often, and get on hooks less, or just DC and still leave you with no emblem. So wins will increase your elo piler but gaining emblems for great spoiler will become a lot harder and will require a lot more matches. But again, what is considered a win? When we sacrifice survivors, and the sacrifice default emblem is the worst one to go for. So plan is simple. I just go into the match and try to find a lot of survivors, hit each of them, then hook some of them, and basically I need just four hooks on different survivors to get bronze in devote. From this point on, my idea is to just continue hitting survivors for nine minutes straight, and then just stay in the basement and let them go. So four survivors escaped. I lost my first game, but wait. I got emblem progress. Killers that will work good for this strategy is Legion, Brace, Onrio and Dredge. Basically invisible or very fast killers that can engage and end many chases fast. Perks that I will use is Corrupt Intervention, so I have more gens on map early on for Gatekeeper emblem and then just some gen defense perks or Slappy Butcher for heal slowdown. And fun part, when our pillar of grades will grow, now level of survivors will drop, so I lose my elo and increase my grade at the same time. Just look at this, I earned grades to silver on Legion already, it's game 10, and first survivors was kinda good, but now this one is promotional to silver, easy hits early game, then easy first hook, 
And these guys don't even mend themselves. Things going nice, it took me just 2 hours to silver, gaining 1-2 pips every game. But I got bored with Legion and decided to play on Pinhead. So actually, by lowering Elo on one killer, other stays as before. Every killer got separate Elo Piler, and I got into match with my normal survivors. In 2 minutes I got 1 hook and 3 gens done. Can I actually win this? Luckily, I'm strong enough in head and managed to make 4 kills. How long can I continue actually doing this strategy? I switched to Brace, as I told you, he is nice great farmer too. So in silver, while letting everyone out of this game, I got 100k blood points. Zero kills, by the way. And cool part, still increasing grades. Basically, I can continue giving 4 exits until gold. In gold, I will need to make at least one sacrifice to gain gold in last emblem. So let's go. And I dropped so low that I even can't let them go. They do gens so slow, so to make bolt record, I'm doing some kills every now and then. And we're in the gold. Okay, gold was fun. I did some 4k games, but mostly all was loses. And now I want to speedrun last games. How I will do it? I just unleash the power. Best builds for same killers, and basically now we start to win. So I start with a race. These games give me 2 pips every game. But in a decent ranks I win a lot and games became harder. Survivor stronger. Can I reach rank 1? Easy. My legion still low tier, and look on these survivors in my last game. And guys, it's rank 1, just like this. Challenge completed in just 10 hours. I guess it was super fast. And basically it will take you only 10 days of gaming, with just 1 hour each day to do the same result as me. Is it boring? A little bit. But 1 million blood points is 1 million blood points. 
so I guess it's more of game design problems than actual system abuse. And if you don't want grades, but looking for great black point farming guide, look no further than these videos on the screen right now. Subscribe for the nuggets!